Hi and welcome to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you how to install a, a rear bar and rear bar mounting kit on a Tony Kart Racer 401. So let's get into it. Okay, so some of the tools for the job is the bent nose circlet pliers opening, two 17mm spanners, two 30mm spanners, both ratchet and non-ratchet, and a 5mm Allen key, T-bar. And obviously OTK rear bar and the OTK Rebar okay, so we're going to install the bolts into the cart now. So all you do is just crank them up, making sure that they're reasonably tight with your hand, and then insert that into the chassis. Grab your pointy nose pliers or circlet pliers in this case, and then rotate the bolt counterclockwise, and that pulls the bolt onto the rubber, expanding it against the end plate. And then that is what locks the whole thing together. Nice and firm. And now I just uh, buzz the nuts off. Grab one of your pre assembled brackets and rubbers and insert that onto your bolts. Flat washer. Standard nut with no nylock. And then the nylock nut. Do the first one up. Lock them off. Repeat for the other side. Next, install the bracket with the button head bolt and nut. Now you're ready to install the rear bar. So grab that and then bolt it on with the two countersunk washers and the M8 countersunk catch. Okay, so that's how you install a rear bar with the OTK mounting kit on a Racer 401S. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment sections below. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Power Republic or on the interweb at powerrepublic.com.au. Till next time, thanks for watching.